Hello guys, welcome back to Solar Motion VFX. Today we'll be looking at changing attack state, meaning that uh, where we have a ranged AI, a shooter AI. If you want to see how to make a shooter AI, please follow the link or look at one of the previous uh, tutorials we made. So uh, the shooter AI is set up. Now we also want to add another attack state. In this case, uh, melee. So when we get near the AI, he should switch behavior. The way to do this is pretty easy. Basically, you just can uh, copy paste your previous attack state, so the first one I have here, attack state behavior. Under this attack, I have my shooter, and it's arranged. So I just copy paste that and add another attack state, and put them below here. And uh, for this one, I disable the range because I want this to be a melee, and also the attack distance, I set that to two. And then I put in my animation for this attack here, right in here. Then you go in and make a simple script, I just call it switch and attack. So for this one, we need to get the attack state behavior, like so, and we'll call this attack ranged, and then we'll make another one, and this one we'll call attack melee, melee like so. Then we go down to the update method here, and then we will say if, and then we say our blaze AI here, our blaze. Uh, then we say distance to enemy, which is a method uh, built in the place to actually see the distance between the, the AI and the current AI and the enemy, the target. So if that's less than, uh, let's say, less than or equal to three, like so, then it should change the place. Attack state behavior should become the new attack state. In this case, melee. And then I just check and copy this out again, because then I also just to ensure that it will switch to the other way around. I say if its enemy and distance is bigger than three, then it should change to attack ranged again, like so. Let's test it out. So what you see, you should see that uh, now we have these two public methods. Attack range was my first one. I'm gonna drag that, put it in here. And my second one attack state here was for the melee, put that in here. So now you should see it should uh, enable and disable when it switches between the different attack states. Yep, that hits. Okay, it works. Thank you very much, guys. Hope you liked it, heard you learned something. This was just a quick one. See you on the next one. Bye.